Important things you should know about the Civil War for the GED Social Studies exam. This short video study guide brought to you by gedstudyguide.org. The American Civil War officially began in 1861. It was the result of years of tension between the northern and southern states. You see, in 1860, Abraham Lincoln was elected president. Abraham Lincoln was anti-slave and Republican. And these values and beliefs did not go over well with the southern states, who relied heavily on slavery to run their plantations. So later that year, seven southern states seceded from the Union and created the Confederate States of America. Secede means to formally withdraw from an alliance or federation. Other major sources of conflict included legal and moral issues of slavery, the rights of the states versus the authority of the federal government, and westward expansion. We refer to the northern states as the Union and to the southern states as the Confederacy. The leader of the Union Army was General U Ulysses S. Grant, and the leader of the Confederate Army was General Robert E. Lee. Because the country was divided in half, often families were divided too. Brothers living in the north for, were forced to fight their brothers living in the south. Once the fighting began, four more states joined the Confederacy. In the beginning, it seemed as if the Confederacy would win because they had a very well-trained army and strong opinions about their way of life that they were willing to defend. But by 1863, the Confederate strength was weakening. They lacked the industries required to create war supplies, and they were unable to produce enough food to sustain themselves. The Union was also suffering from food and supply sh shortages, but they had access to the railway system and a well-established manufacturing and industrial systems in place. By the summer of 1863, the Confederacy began to wear down. Most of the war had been fought on southern land, and the people and the property were beginning to show signs of destruction. Then, President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This document freed all slaves in the Confederacy on January 1, 1863. In 1865, the Confederacy surrendered to the Union. Over the next 12 years, America entered a period of Reconstruction. During this period, federal troops oversaw the rebuilding of the South. Schools were established for former slaves, roads were rebuilt, and cities and homes were reconstructed. Although the Civil War ended slavery, it did not entirely solve racism. In the years to follow, Americans would continue to battle for equality in issues of civil rights. For more information, visit gedstudyguide.org. Click below to subscribe.